I'm Anton from Hardware Sugar. Hey, I'm Rafael from Hardware Sugar. I'm Rocky Ismael. I'm JJ Reyes. I'm Warren May Bernabe. Windows. Pero saan kukuha ng legit Windows? Daming options, daming prices. Pakalito. Buti na lang, may cdkeyoffers.com. Madali lang ang order. Search for the software you need. Add to cart. Daan ka sa payment options nila. Wala pang 5 minutes. Finished. May legit working CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Gamitin lang aming code para makakuha pa ng discounts. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software, Check out cdkeyoffers.com My official title is CFO, which is Chief Figure Outer. Usually, I'm the guy primarily who has to find suppliers, figure out why this procedure isn't working. And so basically, everything that's wrong with the shop is my fault because I haven't come up with a proper procedure to address it. We're one of the founders of the store and the brother of this guy. I'm in charge of producing the soft tech content of the channel, such as cell phone reviews, computer accessories, chair reviews, cable management tips, and the like. Essentially, I consider myself the lifestyle side of the Hardware Sugar channel, and I also occasionally reply directly to Facebook inquiries. I'm officially the website developer of Hardware Sugar, so I'm the Rocky the programmer. I also do YouTube content for the store like this. I also host and write stuff. And I'm the one of the hosts that can be asked for a live stream. And I also, for um, the two times, I'm the tech for the store. So one of the tech guys here at Hardware Sugar, I build rigs, uh, troubleshoot rigs, answer queries on Facebook. I also help sa video sa YouTube and I do some minimal, sobrang minimal na Photoshop work para sa shop. I'm the front end coder and uh, video editor, graphic designer ng Hardware Sugar. So basically, ang ginagawa ko is ako yung nagahandle ng front end, kung ano yung nakikita nyo sa website and then nag-edit <laughs> ng video nila Sir Anton. And mostly yung mga graphics na nakikita nyo sa Facebook page ng Hardware Sugar. My old war machine is an i5-4690K with a Noctua cooler. I don't even remember what motherboard it is. It is a gigabyte ultra durable though. The PSU is quite new. It's from FSP, 750 watts. It has 12 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. It has two SSDs, one for the OS, one just for games, and one 8TB WD purple drive. My gaming rig was born on August 26, 2019. It sports a Ryzen 7 3700X processor, a Gigabyte RTX 2080 Ti, MPG X570 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi motherboard, Corsair H115 by RGB Platinum 2A800mm liquid cooler, four Corsair Vengeance Pro RGB 8GB of RAM at 3200MHz, several SSDs, the RGB Delta Max of which was sent over to us by Team Group last year, and of course, all housed in a minimalist NZXT H700 case. So I have a 5600X na build, it has a 3070 Ti, 3TB of NVMe storage, and another 3TB of hard drive storage, 16GB na 3200MHz na RAM, and 750W na PSU. 6 na fans na nasa Matrex 50 and RGB na uh, case. I'm using an Intel i5 9400F on a MSI Mag B365M mortar and a RTX 3060 Ti. Uh, 16 gigs of RAM and 3200 MHz. Yung rig ko is a 2700 CPU, 2060 na GPU, 32 gig na RAM. Sa HDD, I have a 4 terabytes and a 500 na gig na SSD. Well, it's coming apart, pero gumagana pa rin siya. You'll notice na both side panels are off kasi sira na yung power button nung case ko. Fortunately, my motherboard has a power-on switch so I don't need to jump the headers 
to turn on the PC every day. Yung special sa kanya would be yung amount of iterations na pinagdaanin niya over the past year. So nagsimula ako na M80X na motherboard lang tapos ibang-ibang GPU. 70% ng parts no napalitan na. Well, there's nothing special naman about this rig bukod dun sa 320GB HDD na galing dun sa old laptop ko 5 years ago. Yung rig ko, 2018 pa talaga siya. And nakaka... Dalawang upgrade na siya. And I can say na yung editing skills ko, yung designing skills ko, and may gaming skills, yun talaga yung nag-hone sa akin. Nakita niya akong noob. And then, nakita niya yung growth ko all throughout. So yes, I did build this build myself. I like following tech and PC parts, but I'm less of a... Oh, we need to get our hands dirty every week. Parang bakat niya kamay ko kung di ko napalitan yung CPU cooler every month and things like that. I like low maintenance things. Build once and basically forget about it for the next six years. No, I didn't build this rig, but I did get all the parts from our suppliers and our own tech, Gerald, built it. Originally, I was planning on just saving some money and use the same old PC case I was using way back in 2012, but decided to spend a little bit extra on a new case which I find aesthetically pleasing. The NZXT H700 case was love at first sight for me when I saw it online and everything else blurred away into the distance. It reminds me of the old PC cases but without the CD-ROM drive and with a transparent glass side. Yes, I built this rig nung start halos nung pandemic. Nag-start yon na B450M. Tapos ang special sa kanya, piece by piece ko siya. Hindi ko siya binili ng in one go. So nagsimula ako na CPU and motherboard lang. And that went on for like mga four months bago ko siya nagalaw ulit. So unti-unti ko siyang binild and ayun, in the span of one year natapos ko siya. Pero in the next year din, halos napalitan din yung majority ng parts. I built it myself. Still employed dun sa previous kong work when I built this. Naisip ko, I have to keep my sanity. Kasi hindi ako lumalabas ng bahay and nakakulong lang tayo dun, nagtatrabaho. Guess, yung second upgrade niya, napwersa ako ng i-build yun. Kasi gusto kong turuan ng office mate ko. Kailangan ko daw matuto. And then, ayun, yes, ako nag-build. Everything, work, gaming, now video editing. Before Hardware Sugar, hindi naman ako madalas sa social media. Wala akong alam sa video editing. But I bought this rig well before Hardware Sugar. And it's really adapted to my needs. Like, yun nga, kay ngayon, kailangan na mag-photo edit, kailangan mag-post, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, whatever, araw-araw. Kung ano na lang ina-access ko sa internet. I use this rig for editing, videos, gaming, writing, my short stories, and a novel I'm currently working on. I was really lucky because when I had this built, it never occurred to me that I would be editing videos with it. It just goes to show that there are benefits for sometimes just getting the best of the best at present so that whatever tech hobby you wind up doing in the future, you won't have a hard time hardware-wise implementing. Okay, so I built this rig for gaming, but of course, I use this for work. I build and I update and I maintain the website of Hardware Sugar and other um, mga programming projects pa, um, outside of it. Uh, mostly for video editing and sa graphics, gaming on the side. <laughs> Well, you know, medyo hassle na sira na yung power button nung case niya. Wala siyang AIO, wala siyang RGB. It doesn't have a lot of the modern things that a lot of the builds in the shop have. I mean, sobrang ganda ng mga builds nung customers natin kumpara dun sa rig ko. But, you know, it's an old war machine and it's not to take anything against her. She wasn't designed, wala pang RGB. <laughs> or parang pasimula pa lang ata yung RGB nun. Wala pa talagang AIOs. So, you know, I, I, it's unfair to judge her on that. I don't like that the rig runs a little hotter than I would prefer. In fact, there is a possibility that parts of the PC is melting, as you can see from this footage here. I'm still trying to determine if it's getting worse or if this is a one-off thing. Hindi ko na expect, pero hindi ko pala gusto yung size ng like mid tower or like yung full na tower na case. That's also because I live in a very small apartment, so small lang din yung desk ko. Iyon yung hindi ko na foresee eh, na magiging problem ko. Na I would rather na magkaroon na lang ulit sana ako ng MITX na case. Namatay yung PSU ko last month and so the new PSU, 
it is a bit of an upgrade. I think this current one is platinum rated. Uh, 80 plus gold lang ata yung dati kong PSU. Pero pareho pa naman silang 750 watts. My most recent upgrade was installing a 3 terabyte hard drive which now stores most of my 4K footage for the content I produce. RTX 3060 Ti. Noong time na yun, hindi ko nakukuha yung FPS na gusto ko. So we're playing Monster Hunter World, Valheim kami, na po Wildlands kami. And hindi ako satisfied dun sa FPS na nakukuha ko. Yung GPU na gamit ko ngayon, 3080, actually galing yun sa shop. So technically hindi siya purchase pero dapat purchase siya kasi dapat binayaran ko yung shop. Pero kung bayaran ko yun, yun yung pinakamahal na purchase. Pero hindi ko pa nga nababayaran yung shop. And that's really the problem when you know you're kind of involved in the PC shop. You know the temptation just to borrow items is very strong. Uh, may may isa pa kasi akong project na we have a number crunching server. Bumili ako ng ito na P9X na um, UPS. So, kayo na lang yung research kung gaano ka mahal yun. Pero, yun, yun yung pinaka-expensive and pinaka talagang mag madudurog yung puso mo pag nakita mo yung bill nung uh, kung magkano yun. I've talked about this in a previous Pwede Magtanong episode, my routers. My, I had Google Wi-Fi routers, the pod type na mesh, na, you know, three pods. And those died on me and I was kind of disappointed. Parang, barman yung Google, kala ko quality ka all the way. Tapos, para mapalitan yun, I bought a Ubiquiti Dream Machine. Again, I was swayed by akala ko quality, parang ganda niya tingnan, parang ganda nung reviews. But it died on me in, like around a year. Buti na lang, nagbigay si Asus nung router. So, I'm now using the Asus Zen Wi-Fi Mini. I regret that I bought the Gigabyte version of the RTX 2080 Ti, which only has two fans. One way or another, I am always a believer in more fans always being better when it comes to graphics cards. So, yung the number one na nalila regret ko is yung, siyempre, yung AMD na 5700 XT. Uh, yun kasi yung first na purchase ko sa hardware sugar. Though we do advertise na we will replace, refund, or repair your system, no questions asked, or your purchases, no questions asked. Siyempre, nakakahiya pa rin, di ba? Kasi, yun nga, boss mo yun and everything. <laughs> Tapos, parang, ayun. So, I tinkered with it for one month. Tiniis ko, ayus-ayusin siya, mag-apply mag ng undervolting na profiles, mag-adjust ng settings sa games and everything. Kasi crash siya ng crash. Mag-core liquid 240R. Alam niyo na kung bakit. Okay. So far, gumagana pa naman siya eh. Pero, I will not be surprised kapag pumalo na ng 90 sa yung CPU ko. <laughs> Sana ipad. Ito yung mouse, talaga. And a poor headset. Yon. Anong mouse yun? Mm, uh, ano yun? Dragon yung logo. Ang sakit niya sa kamay. Hindi ko siya napansin talaga at all. Until niregalohan ako ng ano. Magandang mouse. <laughs> sa headset. Yon. Since work from home na kami, majority ng tasks ko, kailangan on call ako with my workmates. Kaya yun. Nag-invest na ako sa magandang headset. <laughs> might be the jump from 8 gigabytes of RAM to 12 gigabytes. Although, mahal pa rin yung DDR3 eh. Nagulat ako na ganun pa siya kamahal. Baka kasi paubos na yung stock. <laughs> kasi sobrang luma na ng DDR3. For me, like, if I were to answer that question in general, it's really an SSD. Mura lang yung mga SSD ngayon. Kung di mo pa na-try yung SSD, yun talaga. Grabe yung quality of life improvement mo. If you're just using a hard drive and then you shift to an SSD, even just a SATA SSD for an OS, grabe. That you, you can feel the difference. Second monitor. So, I bought a 18-inch AOC office-grade monitor. So, I'm already working at Hardware Sugar that time. Kala ko enough na yung single monitor. Then I realized I have to open multiple tabs, answering I'm, I'm answering questions sa, ano kasi, sa Facebook. At the same time, I'm looking sa sheet namin, yung stocks namin, yung website namin, yung PC Builder namin. That time, doon ko na parang na-underestimate ko yung multitasking sa PC. So, na-realize ko, I, I'll be needing a second panel. Then, I saw this parang, parang garage sale malapit sa bahay namin. And they're selling that monitor. That time, parang enough na kasi sa akin yung 18 inch eh. And they're selling it for uh, 1,000 pesos. So, I got that monitor and it changes my PC experience drastically talaga. SSD talaga. It changed my life. 
I remember playing DOS games, the first Civilization, Doom 2, the original Doom 2, the original Wolfenstein, adventure games like uh, Monkey Island, uh, Day of the Tentacle, Maniac Mansion, Star Control. Man, I mean, there's so many, so many great games. So uh, I was around 10 years old. We got our first computer for 86 and. Ever since then, talaga, Dune 2, the original Dune 2, na Warcraft 2, original Warcraft 2, uh, then naging the Warcraft 3, and then Starcraft, Starcraft 2. I mean, uh, around, you know, nine, the early 90s, dun talaga medyo naging mainstream konte. Because, of course, there were PC games before that. In the early 90s, when I first started, tap, wala pang graphics cards noon. <laughs> if you can imagine, yung uso noon dati sound cards. And maybe like the late 90s, um, they started introducing individual graphics cards. I, I say individual kasi iba ibang brand yun. Tapos, yung ibang games, gagana lang to specific card. Hindi kagaya ngayon na puro direct 3D na lang na all cards will work with all games. My fascination with computers and yung nagsimula ako sa gaming hobby, when we got our first computer, uh, around the early 90s. Good times, man. Good times. I got started through my brother Anton. We used to play the original XCOM, Dune, and other such games with DOS. I didn't understand how DOS worked, but I did like playing the games, and I have been hooked on it ever since I was six years old. When I was three years old, I was going to play the PC niya from his office because he was going to play it. And there was a game there, as in, ano pa siya, MS DOS pa yung, um, OS. Nun. May game doon na chess. So chess, ma ma hindi man ako marunong mag-chess noon. Pero every time na you capture a piece, merong an <laughs> may animation na gagawin yung let's say yung bishop. May gagawing animation yung bishop na super like super violent and gory. Nung nakita ko yon, parang doon na nag-spark yung addiction ko sa PC games. Another game would be ayun nga yung basta for some reason naglaro kami ng Mario sa PC. Siguro para mga 4 or 5 years old na ako noon. And at that moment when nung nilalaro ko siya, doon na nabuo sa heart ko na I want to make games for a living. I want to I want to program. I was 3 years old or 4 years old when I started sa PC. Uh 2009 may Inuwi yung mama ko na Dell Optiplex GX240 sa bahay. So, purpose lang sana nun is for school. Pero, na-discover ko yung Visual Boy, yung uh, Game Boy Emulator. Nag-start ako mag-game doon na hindi na ako lumalabas ng bahay. Nakahingi ako ng copy ng NFS Underground, yung unang version, sa kapitbahay namin. Then, hindi ko siya malaro doon sa Pentium 4 na system na yun. Then, bumili yung mama ko ng graphics card. Ako yung nag-install. Like, parang nagpatulong lang ako sa tito ko noon. Nasa ako lang nag-install. Yun, doon ako nagsimula na parang, parang gusto ko yung nagtitinker. Gusto ko yung nagkakalikot. So, I really don't have a favorite game. Pero, there, like yun nga, may mga piling titles na damn that, you know, I look back and sometimes I, I don't usually tend to replay. Like, I don't re-watch movies, I don't re-read books, usually. Um, but yung Mass Effect, I've, 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 uh, I've replayed that twice or thrice already. Um, so no, like, super 100% favorite game, but definitely a lot of titles that I look back on na, pucha, those were good times, ganda nung game na yan. My favorite all-time PC game is the Mass Effect series because it was so painstakingly addicting both on a game level design and a story design. So much so that I feel it taught me a lot about ethics, people, and how to choose between right from wrong in even the real world. Kung hindi naman PC exclusive, of course, yung Mass Effect na trilogy. It's one of the first games I've been super immersed with. That's the only game that na, na totally na immersed ako and nag pour over ako dun sa story, dun sa characters. And I usually don't replay games. Pero yun yung isa sa mga games na parang finish ko like 100% ng mga ilang beses. So ganun talaga siya kaganda. Valheim talaga yung nag, parang sobrang tagal kong nilaro nun. Parang kahit hindi ako matulog tapos pwet akong papasok ko na bukasan. Okay lang sa akin mga paglaro lang ako nung Valheim. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. Siguro may, may something dun eh. May something sa survival sandbox co-op co game. Tapos you're talking with your friends sa Discord. Nagbibuild yun ng base. Nagra-raid kayo ng camps. Nagmamine. Ayun ko may something. May something dun sa game na yun. I'm looking, actually looking forward sa Iron Gate para mag-add ng contents dun sa game. Monster Hunter kasi, yun yung game talaga na, I can say, gumaling ako. Kailangan sa game na yun, hindi ka naka-steady. Basta, doon ako gumaling. 
Um, so right now, no. But in the future, yes, I'll be open to some RGB. Let's not go crazy. Definitely RGB. Like, even if I don't see it, I feel it. Gusto ko yung final product ng RGB. Like, if it's already working, and it's already cable managed, oo, gusto ko siya. Tapos, syempre, dapat makakontrol ko yung RGB. Yung ginagawa ko nga dun sa PC ko, yung color ng RAM would be dependent dun sa temperature ng GPU. So, yun yung parang visual na cue ko na, okay, <laughs> time to work na again and stop playing kasi nag-overheat na yung GPU. RGB! Plus 1,000 FPS. No! No more words. It's funny kasi ginagawa ko yung ilaw sa cam. Lights ng room ko yung RGB. Especially kapag maglalaro ako. Kailangan ko ng ano. May ilaw dyan sa gilid ko. To see my keyboard. Ayan. Air cooling for reliability. But uh, my next rig will be AIO just because I want to try it out. Like I want to have personal experience using an AIO. Air cooling for sure. The only reason why I went with AIO is because I didn't watch Linus Tech Tips video beforehand. If I had known that the Noctua cooler cooled just as good as my H115i, I would never have gotten this and would have saved a lot of money with just a Noctua. Kung sa looks, AIO. Ang super neat niya, it doesn't block yung majority ng space sa PC mo. Actually, kahit naman sa performance, um, okay din naman and comparable yung performance ng AIO sa air cooling. Provided na quality components or quality na AIO yung bibili mo. Kung YGT lang or, or, or ID cooling or, <laughs> or based on sa recent na video namin, yung MSI na core liquid, kung yun yung bibilin mo, wala ka talaga asahan. AIO or air cooling? <laughs> AIO, huwag kang mamata. <laughs> Kahit ilang beses ako masaraan ng AIO. <laughs> Dahil? Uh, Instagramable. <laughs> My advice would be that you don't need to master how to install the parts yourself. It is enough you know how each part works and what are the best value parts for what you need. The installation can be done by a trustworthy computer shop technician, i.e. us. People get screwed more when they just accept whatever PC builds are given to you by a store. Consider how useful and expensive PCs are in general. You save more money when you do your own research through Google. Don't shortcut the research, and yes, you should double research the parts even we at Hardware Sugar recommend for a build. I suggest na you really study it. <laughs> In, hindi siya something na you can just pick up and um, start ka na lang ng hobby na yun, like bread making for example. Um, kadalasan, sobrang mahal nung um, mga pagkakamali. Yun din yung gusto ko sanang impart dun sa mga magiging customers namin. Na, although, yes, we um, offer yung um, libre na pagpapabuild sa amin if you buy it from us. We would still um, encourage you then to at least know the parts. And like, kahit yung pagpalit ng RAM or pagpalit ng GPU, alam mo rin. So that... Uh, meron kang ganong base na um, knowledge about your PCs. Kasi it's fun. It's really addictive and it's really fulfilling when ba, may malido sa PC mo tapos ikaw yung naka... ikaw rin naka-repair and ikaw rin yung naka-pag-setup sa kanya. It's really, really fun. So basically, ang gusto kong sabihin, watch Hardware Sugar on YouTube. From my experience, from what I saw here sa shop, poorly paired parts, sobrang pangit ng cable management, bara-bara. Yung fans na magkatabi, magkaiba ng orientation. Like, i-imagine na, front fans. Exhaust yung isa, intake yung isa. So, yun, yun yung mga parang, you have to be careful on that. Ano yun na? Dala yun nung... Dala ng customer, customer yun na. So, hindi yun dito galing. <laughs> One week warranty. Yun, you have to be careful on that. You'll be using that rig kasi for several years eh. You, you spend your hard-earned money with it. Parang, ang pinaka point nung advice ko is you have to be careful on where where you will acquire your rig. Isipin nyo na for long term yung gagawin nyo na at least for uh, 3 to 5 years and aralin nyo talaga yung specs like pwede kayong magtanong pero magbasa talaga kayo and marami namang available na YouTubers niya na nagtuturo so especially sa hardware sugar nood kayo <laughs> and it's better to buy nice than buy twice. Daniel, watch Hardware Sugar. Watch Hardware Sugar. <laughs> Alright, <Sorry. laughs>
<laughs> Alright, we. <laughs> Alright, that's a wrap. And thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin tuko puwa na to. De joke lang. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.